We are back with another video in the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 Countdown that number 17 team in the country, we have the St. John's Red Storm. What's up college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co-founder Austin Getchy and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. St. John's has struggled the past few years, as Mike Anderson was never able to get him into the tournament. However, that's all likely to change this coming season. They absolutely nailed the head coaching hire, Rick Pitino, who was one of the best coaches in college basketball history. He's won multiple NCAA championships, although one of them was vacated. After getting in trouble with the NCAA, Bettino got to Iona and made a few tournament appearances and produced top 100 teams there. When he was at Louisville, Bettino was known as an amazing defensive coach, compiling nine top five defenses over his time there. Now that he's back at the high major level, he should have some high level defenses and above all, lead St. John's back to winning. When Bettino took over, nearly the whole roster was flipped. Some of the significant pieces to depart include David Jones, who transferred to Memphis, Posh Alexander, who transferred to Butler, Dylan Day Wusu, who transferred to Seton Hall, Andre Corbello, who transferred to Seller and Miss, AJ Storr, who transferred to Wisconsin, and Montez Mathis, who exhausted eligibility, among others. However, one player Patino still has back with the program is all conference big man Joel Soriano, one of the best rebounders in the country averaging nearly 12 rebounds per game last season. He's also an efficient inside scorer and good rim protector. Soriano was by far the best player on the Red Storm last year, so if there's anyone you'd want to have back from that team, it's him. Patino was also able to get the leading returning scorer in the country, Jordan Dingle, who averaged 23.4 points at Penn. He's able to score from all three levels and did so fairly efficiently. His lowest scoring game in the season was 14 points, and while he likely won't put up the same numbers in the Big East, he'll still be a high-level scorer. Dingle wasn't the only Ivy League player the Red Storm got. Bettino got a late commitment from Harvard forward Chris Ledlam, who decommitted from Tennessee. He's another high-level scorer and was also a dominant defender. His athleticism and physicality will translate up to the Big East. St. John's was able to get a few starting caliber transfers on the wing. One is UMass transfer RJ Luis, who is currently injured. When he's healthy, likely sometime in December, he brings a lot of versatility and length to St. John's. He had a few huge games last year as a freshman and could build off how good he was playing in conference play. Glenn Taylor Jr. is the other one from Oregon State. He's good at getting the free throw line and expanded his passing game last season. Bettino also took a few players from Iona with him. Danis Jenkins is a big one, likely the team's starting point guard. He's a high-level passer, having over a 30% assist rate in conference play last season. He was also a consistent scorer, scoring double digits in the last 11 games. Cruz Davis, a rising sophomore guard who at one point was an Oregon State commit, also committed to St. John's. Siddiqui Abine Ayo is the final piece, a forward with high major offers in high school. A national champion was also added to the roster, and UConn guard Nahima Lean. He was a solid bench piece on UConn, and was a good starter for a few years at Virginia Tech. Kansas big man Zuby Egiofer also committed to St. John's. He didn't play a ton as a freshman, but is a very good rebounder and rim protector, and should be fit to take over the center spot once Soriano graduates. The last transfer Patino got was VMI guard Sean Conway, who could provide some shooting off the bench. The other returner is forward Dresa Traore, who played limited minutes as a freshman. Patino also got a few freshmen after he took over. The big name one is Simeon Wilcher, a former North Carolina commit. He is a point guard with good size who should be able to make a big impact right away. The other commit is Brady Dunlap, who was formerly committed to Notre Dame. He brings shooting and scoring on the wing and probably won't see a ton of minutes this year. Overall, I think the St. John's program is back. Patino is an elite coach and has assembled a roster that should be able to win right away. Even though there's a lot of new pieces, it's decently talented, and above all, I trust Patino to put it together. I currently have the Red Storm sitting at 4th in the Big East, 
an incredibly strong conference towards the top this year. St. John's fans, comment below your thoughts and where you personally have the Red Storm ranked this year. We will be back tomorrow for a number 16 team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.